Perfect. Welcome to Tips for Gamers. Today we are going to be breaking down how to upgrade safeties, both free safety and strong safety in Madden 23 franchise mode. Let's see if we can get this video to 300 likes. You guys know the drill. Also, comment down below who's your favorite safety who's playing right now in the league and who is your favorite safety of all time. So safeties are not just a one upgrade fits all type of player. Safeties are the most profitable to pick up in the draft because safeties are a six for one deal. And that's why we tell you guys in our scouting and drafting guide to go after tell Ted Wick Wilkerson because he scouts safeties and wide receivers. And that's your best way of just revamping your team like crazy every single year because safeties can play outside linebacker both left and right. They can play middle linebacker pass covered situations. Some of them are run support and actually pretty big and they can play in 4-3 situations as well. 3-4 is a little bit harder for them. And they can also play cornerback. They can play free safety and strong safety. So it's a six for one deal. And it with just one scout alone. That's the possibilities. That's what's crazy about safeties. Okay, so you can upgrade them in so many different ways for the future. And that's what I want you guys to understand here. Something we do in rebuilds, let's say we have two good corners, because we typically have three good corners uh, on our defense. That's what we have. We have two, two solid ones. The third one, we're building up. And that's what we do. And then once one of the two top guys kind of gets you know to a point where it's like all right we need to move on you know we'll trade him away and a lot of times we'll look at a free safety and say hey this free safety is he's been in our system for a while if we have that option and we've been upgrading him he's a hybrid safety we'll move him over to cornerback and like the guy we just did in our seahawks rebuild which we're going to release soon he was he had a 95 man coverage as a safety we put him over and he's a, he's one of our top producers in interceptions on our defense and then we put the young guy up at free safety let him grow kind of build him up where we want to put him in the future we use the safety spot to build up to either keep him at safety move him to corner move him to an outside linebacker whatever we want to do that's kind of what we use our safeties for so upgrading them you kind of need to think about okay where can i utilize this guy and don't just think about safety so if i come across a hybrid safety in the draft and i bring him on right well at that at that time i can look at him and say all right am i going to build you up to where you possibly be a cornerback for me a strong safety or free safety if i'm bringing on a hybrid typically i'm not going to make him an outside linebacker uh, it's just not what i'm going to do majority of the time there are some exceptions to that now what i'm going to do at that point is just go hybrid Okay, because hybrid is basically the best of both worlds. You're going to get the man coverage as well. And so you can see there the man coverage pops off. You're going to keep getting upgrades as well. And I just love hybrid. Hybrid gives you such a great ability. And you'll see your, your zone start to pop off as well. And so it just gives you that great ability to give make him very versatile, right? Very, very versatile. And it, it's not like even the run support is taking a hit either. Hybrids might go to majority of the time. Okay, now, there are those times where I will get a guy where I'm like, man, this guy's 224 pounds. He's six foot two. He, you know, he's a big dude. All right. And I think I can have him play outside linebacker for me, a right outside linebacker in a pass covered situation. I can even put him at a middle linebacker. You do that in user play. Um, you'll be in a situation to where, you know, he is an absolute monster. And then you could look to kind of hit it with that hybrid and then hit it with the run support. Okay, kind of flip in between those because you want him to have that run support because he's going to obviously be closer to the trenches and be closer uh, to making tackles, whereas a strong safety is not going to be as close as an outside linebacker is uh, to the trenches. So with safeties, my main thing, if they're going to be a cornerback, they're going to be a strong safety, free safety. That's what they're going to be. And I'm not moving them from there. Hybrid is going to be my main bread and butter. You're going to keep getting your upgrades from it. You're going to keep boosting it. You can touch the zone coverage too. If you start to see that, hey, his zone coverage is just not that great. You can start to go after that zone coverage, maybe in a three for one deal, something like that. Three hybrids, then one zone. That's something you could do. Uh, but if you're planning on moving them to a linebacker, I'd mix the hybrid with the run support. I would kind of go with that. And once you put him at a linebacker spot, he's going to go more than likely on default to pass coverage. And then you could kind of touch up the run support from there and uh, kind of balance him out that way. And then you'll have a really good 
pass coverage linebacker. And you'll give him the ability after boosting up his run support, you'll have you'll give him the ability to actually be, you know, a pretty outstanding linebacker with some speed. So, you know, hybrid, definitely one of my favorites. I'm not saying neglect zone entirely. I'm just saying that um, hybrid is the king. It is there is no doubt about it that hybrid takes the cake majority of the time that's where you want to go they be like really you got a milli from doing something silly i'm like chili i've been killing for decades now billy well maybe like several years but who's counting really i just know how to turn something silly into a milli got a lot to say and a lot need to hear it you don't quit today we don't stop no we feel it to the top yeah we change our whole world yeah we steer it getting